I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, today's video is going to be me talking about the books that I've read in 2015 that have left me in a book hangover, aka great effing books that I fucking loved. The struggle of reconnecting to reality after finishing a really amazing book. That's happened to me this year. You guys have known, I've talked about it, hence why I'm actually even doing this video to begin with is because I've actually been in a couple of book hangovers. Not a book slump. This is not to be confused with a slump. So in no particular order, actually I think I'm gonna go in order, let's talk about one, two, three, four, Five books that have left me in a hangover. That was ten, Stephanie. Five books that have left me in a book hangover. Uh, it started this year with The Golden Sun. I had a hangover with the first book in this trilogy, Red Rising. You guys know, absolute favorite series of all time. And this one left me in a book hangover for sure. Totally didn't read the books after I read this. The books that I read after reading this were not rated fairly. Maybe. I don't know. It's just when you read something really, really, really good and you want to stay in that really, really, really awesome, amazingly written world and then you read another one that's just like, meh, it ends up being like, ugh. Meh turns into ugh, just saying. But first hangover this year. Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. <sighs> the Book Thief by Marcus Suzak put me in a book hangover. It was more not because I wanted to stay in the world but because my feelings just couldn't leave the world and it was really sad and this book just made me really sad but then I watched the movie like three four days later and I was totally fine I wasn't in a hangover anymore but I was all up in my feelings I encountered the second best book second best no second favorite book series and that is Outlander I don't know what's going on with me. I'm really hyper right now. By Diana Gabaldon. Anyway, love this world. I read this book. I mean, this is a hefty book. And if I'm correct, and I think I am, oh, it smells so good. I think I read this in a very, very, very short period of time. I read it in like a week, maybe less. I'm not sure. But oh, the hangover for this didn't last that long because immediately after reading this, I, I want to say that yes, sorry, I thought I did something, that yes, I read another book in between this and the second, but then the hangover for this was cured by the hangover that this caused. I read this, I know it's such a small little book compared to that big beauty. Anyway, I read Dragonfly and Amber and I was very happy, but then this one, like, this year, probably Dragonfly and Amber has been the absolute worst hangover because I actually own the next book, but I was stopping myself from like reading. Like, I gave myself Blue Book. <laughs> oh, God, I crack myself up. When you own a series, the entire series, but you stop reading because you want to make it last longer, you're giving yourself Blue Books. So I gave myself blue books because I was in a super big hangover. I read stuff I did. I continued reading. But that is when the whole picking up books and putting them down started. I mean, I did find books to continue reading. I had kept reading after this. But all I wanted to read was the series. I cured one hangover with another. I cured my Dragonfly and Amber hangover with the bone season by Samantha Shannon but then I created another hangover because after this I read like maybe two or three more books and then I read night film and then I was in a book slump for like three four months I seriously need to buy the next book to this but this one gave me a book hangover because again this is another absolute favorite book of mine holy moly I'm really loving the new adult anything that's new adult that's not contemporary I'm pretty much okay or even romance you know, because Fifty Shades of Grey is just like a, you know, we're going to talk about genres next. But anyway, I really, really, really love this book and it just shoved me in a book hangover and that created a book slump. So those are the books that put me in a book hangover this year. I think that's a good thing though because I'm reading great books and I'm really happy. I'm not saying the other books I haven't read are great. I mean, they're good books and I have loved them, but these are just 
the ones that I can't, I don't, I don't know how to deal with afterwards. So maybe I'll talk about my books on next time. But I just feel like showing you the book hangover books. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about the books that put me in a book hangover. And, uh, you know, be warned. Or rather, be safe. If you have a series and you want to read that entire series, don't give yourself blue books and just read it. Just do it. That is my advice for the day. I should start doing really smart, amazing bookish advice at the end of every day. So let's stack up these books in no particular order and do my thumbnail. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'll see you next time. I'm really like super hyper right now and I have had like no sugar so I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Bye.